So I, you wonder why do I have that? And I have that, you know, have you seen Harry Potter? I'm gonna fly right now, I'm just kidding. Do you guys wanna know how to win more matches and how to move on the court more? And I'll tell you how to do it. Stop being lazy, that's the first thing you gotta do. Now, the most important part in the full work is the split step. It's essential to your full work, actually. And you already know, you probably heard for many times, how so you got to split. You watch professional players like Federer and Nadal, all of them split every time before they hit the ball. What holds you off from split stepping? Is you, you got to get out and practice. Now, I'm going to give you some drills that are going to help you. But now, how are you going to do it? You're going to say, oh, well, but I don't have this stuff to do that. I don't have that. I don't have the equipment. There's no excuses. Today, we're going to do these drills with whatever we can find on any court anywhere in the world. You just have to have a few balls and you gotta get something just to jump over and we're gonna make your split step better. Let's go, so after you saw how it's gonna look like, I just wanna tell you a little story you know, where I learned about tennis, why I got a passion so about tennis. So my father used to be a great tennis coach and he a great tennis player, so I learned a lot from him. And I just want to take this few minutes just to say how much I thank him for that and just being my father and my best friend and everything. And I just wanted to know who in your life has impacted you so much, uh, whether it's your coach, your teachers or somebody else who had uh, put a mark on you of who you are, what's your, you know, who you became at to this point. So go on the link below, just try to comment and say why maybe you like them or just put their name of whoever that was. And now we're going to start with the first drill, guys. All right, guys, so as I told you at the beginning of the video, you have no excuses to learn what I'm going to give you today. So I, you wonder, why do I have that? And I have that, you know, have you seen Harry Potter? I'm going to fly right now, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not going to, but most of the courts have squidges. So in case if you have absolutely no object that you can jump over, uh, you can actually use a squidgy or absolutely anything that has a little bit of a height that's going to force you uh, to jump over. So I'm going to give you a couple of suggestions. So what is the split step itself? It's a little jump uh, that you do at the point of contact of your opponent. Of course, higher the level, faster the ball comes. Sometimes you have to do it at the beginning of the swing. But if you're at 2 5 3 all level, probably right at the point of contact is just enough uh, for you to land and move to the next ball. Split step is important because you're going to be moving to the ball earlier. You're going to be more explosive. You're going to be moving instead of just standing planted on the ground without any movement. And that's where you're going to be late all the time. So we're going to put it on the ground and we're going to just do a couple of practice jumps. So uh, our split step is supposed to be just slightly forward or straight up. But uh, since uh, we need to enforce it, a lot of times people do, instead of a split, they just do this. They barely come off the ground. Uh, you might not even know you do it. Uh, and you land back on your heels. So the most important part of the split step is timing. If you can time the split step correctly, by the time you land, you're gonna have to start moving right away. So when you land, you're gonna be still on your toes and you're gonna be moving to the ball. So we're gonna start with very simple ones where you're gonna land facing forward, your feet are gonna face forward, you're gonna stay on your toes. And then the only thing we're gonna do, we're gonna make uh, a step to the right or to the left. So if you have a partner, you can do it yourself, just kind of picture. So the first one, you're gonna split step and step to the right. So you move uh, to your right and then uh, split step and you move to the left. So we're gonna do a few tries. So we're gonna put something in front of us like this. We're gonna split and then move to the right. We're gonna do split again and move to the left. I'm gonna go back. So we're gonna make sure one important part, when you land, you gotta land on your toes like this and very soft. If you hear yourself, if you jump and it goes like very hard, it means you're doing it wrong. Plus you put too much pressure on your knees. So you gotta go split, land soft, move to the right. And again, split and move to the left. Very good. Now, uh, do it a few times, try to be a uh, uh, pretty explosive and try to move a little bit more. Now we're gonna pick up a few balls and we're actually gonna fit to ourselves and try to hit forehand and back and up to the split step. All right, so we're still gonna have that object in front of us. So now we're gonna actually fit the ball to ourselves. For now, just complete the split step. Make sure you give yourself some time so it's a little bit more comfortable. We're just learning right now. Uh, if you've been doing a split step all the time, I'm, this is great. I absolutely enjoy having you guys still watching this video, but a lot of people don't, so let's see if we can do it. So we're going to do a split step, then fit the ball, and then just nice and easy hit. Do the same thing, split, 
fit to their back end. Nice and easy hit. All right, so we're not doing anything crazy right now. We're not doing too much intensity, just a learning process. Very good, just hitting a forehand, giving yourself time to split step. There you go. Now, next, set, next time, so what we're gonna do now, we're still gonna do uh, not that much of intensity yet, but what I want you to do, as you decide where you're gonna move, I want you to turn your feet in the air when you come off the ground and turn your feet towards where you're gonna move. This is the next step. Uh, it's gonna give, you're gonna be even more explosive. And a lot of times when, let's say, you, uh, you're still in the air and the person already hits the ball, and you'll see where the ball is coming off their racket, you can actually turn that way your feet, and you're gonna be able to get to the ball a lot, a lot qu quicker. Uh, so well, I'm gonna go to the forehand, for example. I'm gonna go land and then go the way. So you watch my feet right now. See how my feet are moving and turning that way, right? So I'm gonna do it again. Split, turn, hit the ball, and we'll do it again. Split, turn sideways, and hit the ball. So now we're gonna have to work with that split step and turning our feet, but we're gonna increase the intensity as well, where you're gonna be fitting the ball a little bit quicker and you're gonna have, have to get back uh, behind that uh, kind of barrier and do it again. So let's do about five, six tries. So we're gonna take five, six balls and we're gonna do a lot more intensity, but now we're gonna, whatever we whenever we decide which way we're gonna be moving, uh, we'll have to also turn our feet that way and be a lot more explosive after we land. So we're gonna go split, hitting the ball, try to get recovery steps, and then split, and you lose the ball like that because you got stuck in your fingers. So we're gonna redo it. And then split, turn your feet, and hit the backhand. Gonna get back and again split, turn sideways. Nice, get back, and then split again. Very nice, and we'll do it again. Turn our fit and do it again. So hopefully, if, as you practice enough, you won't need this little body here anymore. And you will be able to do split step consistently every time. So the next step for us to do the same exercise, but without using this bar. All right guys, so in this part, uh, we don't have the bar anymore or any barrier. So we'll have to remember to do split step and making sure you come off the ground. It doesn't have to be too high sometimes, uh, but you, you want to make sure you're still turning your feet either way. Uh, you're gonna fit the ball. You can do a couple of times to the back and a couple of times to the forehand, all to the forehand. So be creative when uh, you do this exercise. So we're gonna do split step, turn. Get the forehand, get back. Split step, getting back in. And again, just like that. So it's a lot of intensity. Here we go. Nice. Hit again, getting down the line shots, maybe a slice after that, just like that. So you can do quite a bit of amount of balls, it's a great, great exercise, your body getting used to, to do it all the time, you build muscle memory. Now, after you do all those exercises, we're going to try to do it with the partner who's going to come out. So if you feel really comfortable, your partner's going to come out and start fitting the ball to you. So you get different rhythm. Here you're fitting the ball to yourself. It's easier, it's the first stage you gotta do. But you need something to come to. It could be ball machine, it could be whatever. Now we have to do it like that. All right guys, so uh, Aritz is gonna help me out. He's gonna fit the ball, so I'll have to make sure I time my split step with the swing, with his swing, uh, right about point of contact. And now I'll have to see which way I'm gonna go after the split step, making sure I'm not planting, I'm moving right away after it. There you go. Let's see if you can. So far, you can see it's a, it's kind of slow rhythm. The ball comes to me, so it's I'm timing right with the split step, with the point of contact, my split step. Now, Aris, you can hit a little faster. There you go. So I have to do it a little bit earlier to get the ball. There you go. There you go, nice. And one more. That's good. 
All right, guys, so you can see a faster wall. Sometimes you have to jump off the ground a little bit earlier. Or sometimes if you miss time and your ball already comes, then you really have to land and push yourself towards that direction, turning your feet. All right, guys, so the last drill we're going to have to actually play is try to play points or rally moving each other so you can practice that split step in the live ball situation. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching us today. I hope it helped you so much. Just uh, make sure you do those split steps. It's very essential to your full work. And hopefully this video helped you out. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.